Sometimes we can't get what we don't want in life. I mean, that's how life is, right? No, so how was the train? Was it good? Fast, did you enjoy your train ride, Chantal? Up to 300 kilometers an hour. Yeah, no, it is quicker. And did you enjoy the train ride, man? Man, a few words. All right, so now we're going to hit the Napoli station and then we'll get something to eat a bit later. Okay, cheers. See you, see you in Sorrento. We'll see you on the train ride to Sorrento. Say goodbye, Da Costa. Cheers. So we were lucky, we got the room as an early check-in and this is the room, but this got a proper view. So here's the toilet, we have an old, it's an old hotel, so it's not new finishes. Small room, but uh, how's it little man? Wait till you see this. Now that is fierce. See the view down there? Not too shabby. And what's your name again? <laughs> so, where are you? Uh, what's your name again? Sorrento. Rebel Breath. Sorrento. Sorrento. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit nippy this side of town. Yeah, look, it's about 19, 20 degrees. So, it's not like hot, but it's, it's not cold. So, you can see the ships arriving over there. Go. You can see the countryside over here. Right, look. to go get something to eat and this is the view from outside this is just insane This is Sorrento train station. So uh, don't tell anyone, but we didn't get a ticket. So the ticket machine didn't work. So this was a free ride, but we won't say anything to anyone. Well, we didn't get a ticket for lack of trying. No, exactly. We tried. Prego. Bye, bye, bye. So the Italians are saying prego. I'm not sure what the hell it means, but uh, in Portugal, prego is like a you can get a meat or a chicken roll. 
So every time they say Prega, I feel like saying, listen, meat or chicken. So this is the main shopping district here in Sorrento. And since, you know, we packed for winter, and it's actually quite warm here in Sorrento, and I had to get some shorts, but you think I can find a shop that's open? In Italy, especially in little towns like this, they've got something called siesta. Well, that's a Spanish term. So now everything's sorado, siesta, so nothing's open. So we're just cruising around the streets here looking for something open that I can get some shorts. Round and round we go, losing self-control. I keep telling myself, but I don't want to let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run. Looking for something, chasing the sun. So where are you, uh, Rebel? Looking at Main Street in Sorrento. In Sorrento? And what are you doing here? What are you looking for, little rebel? She's what? If I buy anything for myself... You're in trouble. But a little man wants something, right? Yeah. What does he want? Choose for a knock. Choose for a knock? So the little man has called it. We had to stop for a drink. This little man decided that it's time to have a drink. Well, you you just, was it me who called it? Yes, you, you called it us in here. Oh, did I? Yes, you said, come on, the door's just open and I just walked. Okay, so I was mistaken. I called it, I said, let's go inside the hotel and have something to drink. Not a bad setting. Not too shabby, eh? Can you think of worse places in the world to have a drink? And there's a tired bubba in the corner there. So Lemone in Sorrento is quite populous. They grow a lot of lemons here. So now Rebel found lemon sweets. So it's chocolate and these Baby. lemon little nice. sweet balls. Mmm, taste. Mmm, mmm. How's it taste? Wait till you bite it. Yo! <laughs> yeah. Taste different, eh? Back to the hotel after a good day, and uh, little man reckons that the road below us is very what? What did you say it was? Deep. Deep. And it's a zigzag road. It's very steep. All right, now how's this for a view at night? Now that is proper. Very very nice. Alright, so end of a good day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.